guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different and tackle something that has been bothering me for the longest time. So instead of this video being a little more informative, this one's like, welcome to Laura Alice's soapbox for a minute because I've got some real issues that I wanna talk about. Well, just one, one issue. Girls that wear makeup to the gym. Girls that get dolled up to go work out. Now, before you guys start sending me hate mail and telling me what a terrible person I am, hear me out. Because I'm doing this video on girls that wear makeup to the gym, I thought it only right for me to start all natural Laura Alice and I have to do my makeup for the day. So I'm gonna do that while I talk because that's what we do. First and foremost, when I was at the gym the other day, I was in the locker room and I heard two young women talking to each other that had just come either from work or I don't know, maybe they're in college, I'm not sure. But they were talking to each other and one of them said to the other one, why are you putting on makeup? We're just gonna go work out. Oh, this bothered me so much. I mean, I just don't get why we can't support each other, you know? It really got me thinking and it got me thinking we don't see what's going on in someone's head. Everyone's different. And what if this girl needed to wear makeup to feel the confidence that she needed to go out and go into the free weight section where there's a lot of intimidating people sometimes? Maybe that really beautiful girl that goes to your gym needs a little boost of confidence to get out of her car and walk into it in the first place. So if that's you, get it girl. Here's another thing. Do you ever think that maybe some of us have bright red faces to begin with, that if we don't cover it up and we go work out, someone's calling 911 for me because I'm gonna look like I'm dying. And then some people might say, what if you clog your pores? What if your face or your skin can't breathe while you're working out? I have a hard enough time just breathing in general while I work out. <laughs> my last concern when I'm working out is not whether or not my face can breathe. It's whether or not my lungs can. And at the end of the day, I take this all off anyway. It's not like I sleep in it. So it's no different than living someplace really hot and walking from your car to your office, into the shopping center, wherever, and just breaking out into a total sweat. I'm from Florida and it's like a steam room. I would get just as sweaty walking from my car to the grocery store in a parking lot that I would at the gym. Didn't bother me then, doesn't bother me now. All right, we're starting to look somewhat human. The other thing, I'm one of those people where if I don't wear makeup, I look like a 12 year old girl. I like to be spoken to like I'm an adult. <laughs> Call me crazy. Instead of like, oh, is that your big brother over there in the corner? That's so cute that you guys work out together. No, that's my husband. Fabulous. Y'all, the reason why I'm not showing you like all the stuff that I use is first of all, it's not that impressive. And second of all, I'm probably not even using it correctly. I am no makeup guru whatsoever. I am not one to film myself giving you advice on how to do makeup. And then you say, well, Laura, what about those girls that are at the gym that are noticeably flirting with a bunch of guys? Okay, what about them? If you're not just sitting on equipment and not using it, I don't care. You can flirt with the guys in there all day. You could walk in looking like Kelly Clarkson for a performance and I would not mind. Go, go, go meet a guy at the gym. That doesn't bother me whatsoever. And you know why? Because I'd rather you go try to meet someone at the gym. At least you know they care about their health. As long as you are not blocking my equipment that I wanna use because you're sitting on it going, <laughs> then I don't care because you are not bothering me whatsoever. You are not slowing me or anyone else down except for maybe the guy you're trying to flirt with. That's his problem. Go for it. At least you're going after someone that has the same hobby. I wanted to make this video because I feel like I keep seeing these memes making fun of girls that wear makeup to the gym, saying if you show up looking like a Barbie doll, you're not really there to work out. I am. Not that I look like a Barbie doll by any means, but I'm there to work out. I mean, do I usually go all out and do my eyeshadow and everything for the gym? No. I'm trying to make a point here, ladies. I'm not doing a good job at this whatsoever. I'm not doing a good job. Blend, blend, blend. Oh goodness, girl, what have you done to your eyes? Blend brush, please save me. 
Oh, I love you. Good job. Oh, yes. Oh, that's so much better. So I guess my biggest frustration with all of this is that I feel like we should all be lifting each other up. I don't understand why we can't all just support each other. If you wear makeup, if you don't wear makeup, if you're super sweaty at the end of your workout, if you're just glistening, that is totally up to you. And I don't care how you show up to the gym or how you leave the gym. As long as you're doing your thing, you do your thing. I had to go in close for the eyeliner. There's no way I could do that from like four feet away. It's hard enough doing it from four inches away. I'm starting to look my age, but I'll never act it. Anybody else have a really hard time doing their eyebrows? Like I didn't even used to do eyebrows. That wasn't even a cool thing back in the day. Back when I was a young man. But I just feel like if your eyebrows aren't done now, it's like, who are you? Why are you even walking out of the house? Like it used to be, if you were gonna do like a simple look when you run to the grocery store, why do I always use that as an example? I do not live at the grocery store. But it used to be, if you were just running a simple errand or something like that, you used to just throw on some mascara. Am I right, ladies? Throw on mascara and then you could go. And you wouldn't really feel that bad about yourself. You felt somewhat put together with mascara on. And now it's like, <gasps> oh, our eyebrows are done. If you can see this, it's because I broke it. I broke my mascara tube. So now I'm trying to get all this gunk off of the wand so I don't look like I have spider eyes. It's not Halloween yet, y'all. Am I gonna do this in the camera? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna kill myself. Has anyone else tried lip oils? I got this one from e.l.f. It was like $3 at Target and it's like phenomenal. And it feels so good. Like it actually hydrates without being like a sticky gloss. It looks like it's like shiny. So you think it would be sticky, but it's not. So in conclusion, ladies, you are beautiful. You are beautiful with makeup. You are beautiful without makeup. You are beautiful at the gym. You are beautiful on your couch. If wearing makeup is what makes you feel super confident and pumped up to get to the gym and get your workout done, go for it. If you're the girl that doesn't wear makeup and you're going hardcore at the gym, go for it. And for the women out there that say she must not be serious about working out because she's wearing way too much makeup. I'm headed to the gym. Bye, y'all.